lie there. Ever wondered what else you can do with dominoes apart from playing the traditional style domino game? Well, in this Out of School Care Network game tutorial, we're going to show you a game called Ziggurat. Uh, Ziggurat, meaning a temple, a traditional ancient civilization type building. Uh, this game uh, was designed by, just got to check his name here, a guy named Jonathan Lysteko. All I've done so far is uh, divided the dominoes out evenly for a four-player game. Uh, this Ziggurat plays two to four players. I would recommend at least three. Two is a little bit a little bit dull. And uh, the dominoes we're using are these thick uh, sort of resin, I don't know, plastic, sturdy domino tiles. Because uh, we are going to be stacking the dominoes on top of each other. Uh, once you've done them all out, we'll just stand them up. As you would in any, any game of dominoes. So I'll just whip around and do that. I'll just show you here the other thing you need for the game is some way of keeping track of score. I've set up a scoring system here using matchsticks. The yellow matchsticks will mean one point, the red matchsticks will mean five and the green matchsticks will stand for 10 points. First player simply lays out a domino. If you had a leftover domino when you were dividing it out, that could be your starting domino, or one of the dominoes that you were left over you could use. From then on, uh, we're building the base of our ziggurat, and there are a couple of simple rules. Um, you must lay uh, so that the dominoes are evenly matched, so you are not, for instance, allowed to do this, as you might in a uh, traditional game of dominoes. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether you match the colour or not. If the colour or the number, if you do manage to match it, you will make some points. So let's just look at a typical first turn. I'll just play again from this side. Um, maybe that, okay? Because I've managed to match the five with the five, I would get one point because one has matched. Now, looking at the next options, if I can just find the right domino, let's look at player two. If player two has this domino, they could play it there and they would actually get two points because they've matched the blank there and the four there. Now, what we can see here is our base starting to form. The rule is that the base can only be four squares wide by four squares across. Okay, so a four by four base. Once so far we've got one, two, three squares. So for instance, the next player could play here and earn a point for matching the two fours. Uh, the next player over here, having a quick look at their pieces, may like to do this. And they would earn a point for matching the two twos. This is the first stage of the game, building the base. Uh, it changes a bit after we um, we get the base built. So we'll just keep following through here. This this domino could have also been played this way, but let's say that player decided to play it there. Next player is deciding to do this. Quite a legal move because we can still fit two dominoes in here. What this player would not be able to do is play it. For instance, here, because suddenly we've got one, two, three, four, five across. We're only allowed four squares across. So this is a legal play for one point. Two more uh, turns to be taken to build the base. So one of those turns could be placing this here for a point, matched there. And the last tile must go into the spot. No choice whether the player scores or not. Uh, it must be played there. And that would be one point. At this point in time, once the base is ready, and it's four by four, all uh, subsequent turns require you to play on top of what is already there. Okay, Ziggurat gets no bigger. So the next player may choose to play 
this domino, we have a 5 and an 8. What happens now is the 5 and the 8 will fit on top here. And they match both of the underneath dominoes. Yeah? So we're no longer matching side to side. We are matching underneath to the bottom base. Now that is two squares matching, and it's on level two, so that actually scores four points. Each player is obviously looking, taking a little bit of time just looking for their best options, and also thinking about uh, setting up matches in the next row. Now this player has a pair of twos, so again, they will make four points matching there. Uh, next player comes along, and let's say they play here. They've got a 7 and an 8. They are going to match the 7, uh, sorry, the 8. Play there. They will only get 2 points. Remember, they don't get points for matching side to side, only now for underneath. Like that. So, in that case, that's 2 points. And we keep playing this level until it is fully completed. And then another lucky play for this player. Two fours matching there for four points. Now, you'll see there are two empty spots. That is the end of this level. These two spots become gaps. And we move to level three. And the rule now is that you cannot build on top of these areas where there's gaps. So the base now is a little bit smaller. What we're looking for now is strong players. Unfortunately, the next player has this. Okay? Four and seven matching underneath. We're now on level three. So there's two squares, two matches, multiplied by three. So that is worth six points. So this player would grab a yellow and a red. And so on it goes. Uh, next player may not have such a strong play, maybe just playing there for three points. But as you can see, the base starts to get smaller and smaller. The next row starts, so we've got just three points there. And there's two spots left to play in. Uh, someone, take this one for instance, we'll just, there's a blank there, so that will be three points. Then this spot is the only spot left to play. Now let's say uh, the player whose turn it is uh, has no domino that will make points. You know what? Tough. You still have to play to finish that level. So zero points, the five and the three don't match anything, and we're on to the next level. And so it will build up like that with players taking points as they go. We're on level four, matching two squares, that's eight points.